All right, everybody, we're on the vocab section, and I know that this sometimes is the part that gets you guys stressed the most are your last two questions where you have to do your drag and drop. So you're looking for vocabulary words to match with the definitions or the synonym options. I'm going to go down, though, to paragraph seven. You're actually going to see, or paragraph eight, sorry. You're going to see three of these words actually in the text. So encroach is there, sustenance is there, and obliterate is there. I'm going to help you a little bit with giving you some context. Remember that this part is the part where she's actually describing what happens um, and, and the history of Pan Am and, and what happened afterwards. Just as the town clock strikes two, the mayor steps up to the podium and begins to read. It's the same story every year. He tells of the history of Pan Am, the country that rose up out of the ashes of a place that was once called North America. He lists the disasters, the droughts, the storms, the fires, the encroaching seas that swallowed up so much of the land. So at first, it seems as if this whole big disaster, this whole big problem and, and apocalyptic type of event started because of all of these different natural disasters. So when you think of the word encroaching, well, the encroaching seas, think about oceans as they're getting closer and closer to the shores and starting to, you know, go in onto the land. Well, which of these words, uh, synonyms best would describe um, someone or something coming in and, and taking over that land. And I will read these in a moment, but I just want you to think about that. Um, the second one is sustenance, and I'm going to continue on. The brutal war for what little sustenance remained. Sustenance is another way of saying all of your food and your resources. So whatever you need in order to survive. The result was Pan Am, a shining capital ringed by 13 districts, which brought peace and prosperity to its citizens. Then came the dark days, the uprising of the districts against the capital. Twelve were defeated. So that means they were defeated, but they had to give up and surrender. The 13th obliterated. So if they actually are still around and are still able to survive and live, what would obliterate mean if their 13th district no longer exists? So those three at least, sustenance, encroach, and obliterate. I hope that that helps because I'm going to read these to you down here. And so hopefully that then you can match them up to the words. So you have extreme suffering, uh, to intrude on someone's territory, to destroy completely, and something that keeps someone alive. Now the last one, anguish. Um, I, I honestly don't remember seeing it in here, but I know it is here somewhere. The best way to explain it is when you feel anguish, um, think of Katniss, and she feels such immense anguish when she sees her little sister is the one that was chosen for the reaping. So think about what that means. Put yourself in her shoes and how you would feel, and hopefully that will give you the synonym definition for the last one. We'll continue on for the last question in the next video.